Hello everybody and welcome back to another Pet Sim video. We are back on Pet Sim 99 today and today we are going to be discussing how to get free trading booths. So what I've discovered in the game is when you have a custom trading booth, you end up attracting more customers to your store. Like we can see the gold one here, we can see a rainbow coloured one here, we can see a VIP one up here. And they all look very nice, but most of them are paid. When I mean paid is you purchase them with diamonds and robux. How much do these cost in diamonds? 300k for the oxalot. The monkey one is 150k, the cat one is 100k, and this one, what's this one? 500k. Wow, that one looks cool though. But there is free ones, and now I'm going to show you how to get them. So if you open up your little pets icon and head over to achievements, this is where you can unlock trading booths for free by completing very easy missions. So the first trading booth is here called the Dragon Booth. It's a mythical, and all you've got to do to get this one is break 250,000 breakables. So now we move down to the Midas Touch, which is gold 7,500 pets. This may seem like a lot of pets to unlock this gold booth exotic, but what you could do is you could open the cheapest egg and then just make them into gold and you would have the trading booth very easily. The next one is open 750,000 eggs. Obviously, this one's a really hard one to do, but that does unlock a huge hunter book. Wow, I didn't even know that existed. Increase the odds of hatching active huge pets by 25% and the egg booth. Time to get cracking. Now we move on to one that I have already unlocked. This is called the Rainbow Booth. You get this by making 5,000 rainbow pets, which really isn't that much at all. So they are the free booths you can get for free on this game. You just have to complete achievements. But like I said, all you need to do is open the cheap eggs if you can't afford the more expensive ones and just make them into golds and rainbows and you will have yourself a free booth. Now, if we look into our booth sections, I have one of the paid booths. Uh, this was given to me by a friend. And then I have a gold booth, which I got from making pets into gold. And then this one I got from making gold pets into rainbows. So I have unlocked the rainbow booth and the gold one. Also, if you have a lot of gems spare, there is a lot of people that sell them in the trading uh, plaza. 125k for the gold booth, and if you move over here, you will see the rainbow one for 650k. But that will require you having loads of diamonds. So this is the booth that you get from making gold pets. It looks really nice and really clean. It's a bit similar to the VIP one, just a little less shiny now this one i think this one looks amazing this is called the rainbow booth this is from making gold pets into rainbows and look at it it is marvelous this is gonna attract so many customers to my store so this is probably the one that i'm going to be using from now on because this kind of looks better than the robux one and this is for free so in the last video we opened 20 of these crystal keys and we literally got nothing so we're gonna try again today we've got a few to open i think we've got like two or three so we're just gonna open two or three and see if we can get ourselves a charm for once because that is what we're still trying to aim for oh we're getting a ton of books though a ton of epic books how many keys okay we had two keys do we have any wheel spins oh we got one can we get anything good from the wheel spin oh that was close a bag of diamonds, we'll take a thousand diamonds. All the lightning books in there now, but we don't have any more tickets. Chest rush, we are back again for another chest rush. We have broke the first chest, got two books. Wow, we broke that chest already just by tapping. We've got a bunch of books there. We've got a diamonds potion and we've unlocked the last area. Quick, go to it, it's so far away. Come on, and we're here. Let's hopefully we get something good in these four minutes. 
Come on. Oh, we better use some potions as well, actually. Uh, let's use one of these and one of these. They only increase it by 30% because they're quite bad potions, but that's all we need for this area. There's five seconds left, and we've not managed to get anything great as of yet. It's about to end, and as it's ended. Back to the trading plaza. Now, is there anything here that could be good? Let's have a look. We've got a fortune, but oh, 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 five charm, five agility charms? 485k, isn't that really good? I could put them on... I'm, I'm gonna buy these. I'm gonna buy these. That's that seems good for me. Charms are hard to get. Charm, pet charms. <gasps> Ooh. So we'll put one on you. Attach your charm to this pet. It cannot be removed. Wait, really? Oh. Okay. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll put these on the non rainbow ones because. For the rainbow ones, I want fancy charms. But for these ones, I don't really care what kind of charms they've got on them. So we'll put them on those ones. So which ones do we want to put this on? We'll put one on the Sapphire Phoenix. Then we'll put one on the Orca as well. We've got three left. We'll put one on the Neon Cat. Oh, wow. Did we buy perfectly enough for how many non-rainbow and gold huges we have? Agility charm onto the... Which one hasn't got one? The Doodle Cat. Boom. That should be all of our charms onto our huge pets now. So we have agility charm, agility charm, agility charm, agility charm. Lovely. That should make our team a lot better. Oh, and I forgot to put that one on as well. Wow, our team is looking strong. Look how good this team is looking. Wow. And we got charms for the first ever time today, which is awesome. But that is going to wrap up the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.